Thanks Quip for sponsoring this video. This is real wasabi. Most people think that it's a root, but I've just learned that this is a stem. It is also very expensive and difficult to find. Now I'll be honest with you, I understand nothing about wasabi, and I've never even had the real deal which is this, but I've just learned that there are so many different kinds. Fake wasabi powder. This is a wasabi paste, and this is a real wasabi. I don't know which one is gonna be better. Which one is better, Ando? This one? <laughs> hey, Master Chef tells you something, you listen to what he says. And if you love sushi, make sure you go subscribe to his channel. He is the Master Chef. And when you have a Master Sushi Chef in your house, you know you gotta try some sushi. That is exactly what he did here in my house for his channel. You can really see when a master knows his craft. And butchering a salmon was nothing for him. All that work was just for us to try some wasabi. Now trying different types of wasabi got my mouth burning. Don't believe me? Well, just listen to this. You're gonna feel this one, Guga. <laughs> <Hit up! laughs> ah! Wow! That is powerful, you know! The whole taste test is gonna be on his channel. Be sure to check it out once you're done with this video. Because in the end, just like he said, we determined that this is the best one. Real wasabi, aka the real deal. Now in order to process the wasabi properly, you need a special tool. And we're talking about this. It's a grater that has shark skin on it. Yeah, real fancy stuff. It does not belong to me, but I'm glad Hero brought it. Now the first thing he does is to remove the top. That exposes the good stuff. Just like a carrot, you gotta remove the skin. And I only wish you could smell it. It's a pleasant smell and at the same time, it kind of burned your nose. And as soon as he started grinding it, it intensified by a thousand. This thing is powerful. Now remember, we need a lot because we're going to be dry aging in a large piece of meat. So Hero went to town grinding the whole thing. But not only one, he had several to do. And I've never thought I would see Hero sweating and almost crying on pain. Because that makes your nose burn like there's no tomorrow. But like a true master, once he was done, this is what we were left with. Now that is a lot of wasabi paste. And I cannot wait to find out what is it going to do to steaks. Talking about that, this is the star of the show. It is a four bone rib roast. It's a choice grade, but at the same time, it's gonna be perfect for today's experiment. In order to determine how different the wasabi dry age experiment is gonna be, we need a control. So for that, I went ahead and split the whole thing in half because one of them we're gonna be dry aging for real. And for that, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I like to use this. It is called Umai Dry. It's a special membrane that looks like a bag and it allows you to dry age at home without any special equipment. All you have to do is throw it in the bag, vacuum seal it, and it's now ready to let it rest in your refrigerator because now it's time to do the wasabi dry age. And the first thing I did was to lay down some parchment paper. Then our meat went right on top. To my surprise, coating it with the wasabi was not that hard. It's just like a paste. So I first started working on the top, spread it nice and slow, and then I moved right into the edges. Now here's the interesting thing. When this was being grated, the smell was very strong, but as I'm spreading it on the meat, it's not that bad at all. It's actually a very pleasant smell. So that gave me really high hopes as my goal was to make sure I covered the whole thing with it. That is one of the most important things because once I was done, this is what it looks like. This is the world's first dry aging wasabi experiment and hopefully it's gonna turn out fantastic but that must wait for a total of 35 days because the only thing left to do now is to let it rest on my refrigerator. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. The wasabi actually hardened real good. And if you take a closer look, you can see a little bit of mold. That is actually normal whenever you dry aging beef. Now, one of the most interesting thing is the smell. It has a floral smell similar to cilantro. Yeah, exactly. Not what I expected. But at the same time, the next thing to do is to go ahead and remove all of it out. And as I'm doing so, this is not as easy as I thought. A lot of the parts became extra hard. It actually glued itself into the meat. So I went to work trying to scrape it out as much as I could. And once I was done, this is what I was left with. The parts that you see that I did not remove was impossible. If I took it out, I was going to be ripping out the meat. Now, as you know, with every dry aging experiment, you must remove the outer crust. That is the next step. And the first thing I did was to take out the bone. And as I did, oh, wow, take a look at this. I see some nice red meat in there. So this is looking real good. It gave me confidence to go ahead and remove the rest of the sides. Now that is looking even better. Like always, whenever I'm doing dry aging experiments, experiments like this, I cannot be cheap. Making sure that I remove all of the outer crust is a must. As once I was done removing everything that was necessary, I was left with two beautiful steaks. Take a look. If you just saw this right now in a butcher shop, you will never know what you went through. And I'm super excited to find out how they're gonna taste. Now you gotta remember, we have a control to go against it. That way, we're really gonna be able to determine if it's better or not. Now like always, Umai dry age membrane never disappoints. Because after removing the bag, taking out all of the pellicles, I was also left with some beautiful 
beautiful steaks. Now that is what I'm talking about. As you can see, they turned out perfect. If I put them side by side, now you can have a true comparison. We got the wasabi dry age experiment and the real deal dry age. One of the most interesting things that you can't see on the video is how soft the wasabi dry age actually is. Because when I hold the real dry age one, this thing is solid. So that is a really good start for the wasabi dry age. Now the next thing to do is to get them seasoned. For that, I first started with a good amount of salt. One of the most important things is to make sure we season this thing properly. Once I was done with the salt, I went ahead and used freshly ground black pepper. I want to keep this thing really simple, as the most important thing to find out is how the taste actually is. But now that we got them fully seasoned, the only thing left to do is to cook them. I'll first be putting a beautiful sear with them with some butter. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until they reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my wireless thermometers. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook these beautiful steaks. So let's do it. Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Quip. I need my teeth in check so that I can bite into all of my steak experiments. And Quip makes it easy by delivering all of the oral care essentials I need for my mouth. The Quip electric toothbrush has timed sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. And look at it, it has a lightweight and slick design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger. Comes with a multi-use travel cover that doubles as a mere mouth for less clutter. And reusable handles in a range of amazing hues and colors. Quip also delivers eco-friendly refillable fresh floss, anti-cavity toothpaste, refillable mouthwash, and gum refills every three months for $5. Shipping is free, so you can save money and skip the in-store shopping. With stylish and affordable electric toothbrush starting at only 25 bucks, you won't be paying through your teeth for better oral health. So check them out and see why 7 million mouths, including mine, love this toothbrush. If you go to getquip.com slash google right now, you will get your first refill free. To be clear, that's your first refill free at getquip.com slash google. It's spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash google. Quip, the good habit company. Thank you Quip for sponsoring this video, but now let me go ahead and use my teeth to devour this insane experiment. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful steaks. We got Master Sushi Chef Hero over here. If you guys don't know who this guy is, you gotta go check out his YouTube channel, everybody. True Master Chef. Well, you guys already saw him doing a little bit of the work with the wasabi. It was hot, Hero? It was very, very hot. <laughs> I, I saw. got grind so many wasabi like that. <laughs> I saw him Woo. tearing up doing yeah. it. Sweating. Yeah. <laughs> he was really putting in yeah. the work. This is one of those experiments that we all know already that it's the wasabi because he was here helping mm. me out. Angel was right there as well. So we don't know what's gonna happen. This is the wasabi dry age experiment, right? So we got uh, the regular dry age here and then we got the wasabi dry age. Okay. I'm super excited to find mm. out if it's mm. gonna make any difference. What do you think? It's gonna be different or no? <sighs> I never try, of course, but I was savvy, so I have to try. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. find out right now. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and try this one here first, okay. so we know the dry age flavor, and then we can compare. You okay. Ready? All right, cool. Let's go. Uh, yes. Let's see. Grab one right here, yes. here. Ooh, I'm so hungry. Oh, that's oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> it's not sushi, but it's okay, right? I like steak. You like steak? Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for this moment. Oh, there oh, you yeah. go. There you oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, Cheers, let's go. Everybody. Cheers. 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 Yes. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Mm. Super tender, everybody. Mm. Like falling apart tender. So, so good. It's dry age steak, mm. everybody. Mm. There's not much to say. I think that's perfect to have right before something like what we're about mm. to have. Perfectly said. There's not much to say, everybody. This is a dry age steak, what we're used to. At the same time, that's not what we're here for. We're here for the real deal. Are you ready, Hero? Sure. Uh, you yeah. look scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually excited. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Here, you do the honors. Sure. You go first. After you. Okay, everybody. Well, uh, we're gonna tell you right now, real dry age wasabi, not the fake stuff. We use the real, real. deal. Real deal. Yes. We're gonna find out how it tastes. Ready? Yep. 
All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. That's oh, delicious. That's different. Delicious. So good. What did for you? You like it already? <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's a huge difference. I'm telling you right now. Not only is it extremely tender, it doesn't stop. Mm -hmm. Like I keep chewing. This one here, I take a few bites and then it goes away. This one, the more I bite, the more, more flavor, flavor it has. Up, right? It right? lingers. Mm -hmm. it, it lingers on your tongue. It, it's, mm -hmm. it's a non-stop flavor that you're keeping. You're not really getting rid of it when you like swallow the steak. You know, when I first touch, kind of a little foam. Yes, it's a, it's, uh, you're right. When you're touching it and you're grabbing yeah, the slice, little, it's yeah, firm. firm. You would think that but it's gonna be like tough. Yeah, a little tough. Right. But uh, once it starts to So, exactly. Yeah, that's a really good description. Yeah, that's exactly, That's he's absolutely right. I'm going for more. Go ahead and yeah, go for I'm more so that more. we can describe that to them. If you are thinking that it tastes like wasabi, no. it does not. Wasabi taste is not here. No, not here whatsoever. It's not spicy. No, not at all. What it is for me, at least, it's enhancing the steak, but most importantly, I think it has almost like an MSG thing, you know? <laughs> it's like, right? It's like, oh, yeah. it's yeah. Go, it, yeah. more flavor, mm -hmm. right? Uncle Roger, shout out to you. It's more flavor, but that's all I can say. Natural. Natural, natural. 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 Exactly. Not the fake, one. Not the fake you know? stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna say, it. yeah. It might be the best dry age that we've done. It is extremely flavorful. Obviously, wasabi, real wasabi is not cheap. You know, <laughs> so I don't know how well it will be to dry age it like we did, but if you ask me if this experiment worked, yes, yes, I highly recommend it. You highly That's recommend it. You have to try it. Yeah, you have to try it. You Go really buy some do. wasabi, everybody. You really do. Buy the real stuff, not the fake stuff, yes? Yes, real stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Hiro, what was the worst part about doing the wasabi? Spices coming to my eye and the nose. And and the nose. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys go check out Hero's channel right now. We'll see you next one. Take care. Or we say good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ah, <laughs> see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.